Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm doing some experimenting, okay? I plant my corn over here about three weeks ago. I got the okra. Over here, I got the watermelon up there. Tomatoes, tomatoes are doing well. I got nice tomatoes on the tree. As you can see, uh, back there I have um, the cucumbers, almost forgot, okay? So I got some nice tomatoes on the tree. I got the squash back there. Over here is all the different color sweet peppers, okay? I got pumpkin back there, but you see how slow, and these pumpkins from seed, and they've been there for a while now, okay? I'm doing an experiment, okay? Mint. All mint, peppermint, and spearmint mix. Over here is a new section. This is red peas, aka kidney beans. Okay, this is the experiment I'm doing. Over here is the new section I'm building. I've just built this year. I gotta get in there and clean the grass out. Okay, these are my. This is the, my, the pepper bed, going all the way down. And look how fast those peppers, the sweet peppers over there, are planting at the same time with these. And look how fast these are growing. If you can look. With the stuff that's eaten, if you can see over here, I got stuff eating the leaves. What I did was I boiled the pepper itself. And I sprayed, I strained the water and I sprayed it on there. It stopped everything from eating them. So the same pepper I use as an insecticide. All natural. Okay. These are tomato trees. I had tomato suckers I had and I just stick them in there. Back there I have the kale which I cut for already. The onion, look how big the onion plant is. Scotch bonnet pepper, ghost peppers, scotch bonnet, and I have a cucumber back there. I'm just doing an experiment back here. Now, I plant those um, corn you see back there two weeks ago. Look how healthy they're doing. These are the yams. Now, the experiment that I'm doing is where I was planting back at first compared to back here where I started this has started this year I realized the soil is much softer so when a soil is soft the roots gets to grow more the, the chocha tree is coming along against the grapes and stuff the roots, they, they, the roots move faster in the ground when the, when the soil is much softer. Back here is very soft. Okay? I'm going to show you, for example, I plant these peppers here. Look at, look at them. Pepper trees are real tall compared to, compared to these peppers here. This ground is hard as hell. I didn't turn the soil or nothing because just to fuck up the ground and everything is very, very, the ground is tough. So certain things I'm gonna start moving to the other side, which is this side. Look how pretty and, and how fast these pepper trees are growing. So that means I have more branches, I'm going to get more blossom, more peppers on this side. So this is going to be my go-to side from now on. The corn, look how beautiful the corn is coming up. And compared to and the corn on the other side, those corn was planted way before these corn over here. Way before them. The, all right, here's the big, 
example this cucumber tree was planted um, ooh, three weeks ago and the other one was planted six weeks ago look how fast this take off so this is gonna be my go-to side also I know it looks tight in here very tight but I have I have these peppers here and these are from seeds I gotta plant those I also have these peppers here I gotta plant those Kalaloo's coming up the thing is Kalaloo I gotta start picking some of them out and start planting them separating them these tomatoes you need tomato suckers let me know I gotta take some of them out I can't use all of them and I gotta plant them but I'm gonna go over here with them I'm going over here the ground is much softer they'll have a better chance of surviving over here see I got little spots <laughs> this is gonna be crowded real crowded but I realize they do better here for example for some reason scotch bonnet pepper tree is a slow growing tree I don't know why but I always get a good amount from them that scotch bonnet in the back when I say in the back I mean the small ones and they all planted at the same time I have the Carolina Reaper they're doing real good over here I have the Trinidadian scorpion pepper they're doing real good I have the ghost peppers they're doing excellent the only slow growing one is the scotch bonnet very slow growing very very slow growing but whenever I plant them I always get a I always get a whole lot I get more from the scotch bonnet than any other tree but we're gonna see so I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this little this I call this my little pepper farm and I have still have more peppers to come in here which is younger so I'm gonna have to when these start um, producing peppers I have the other ones that's gonna come behind it to come produce more peppers all right oh the fever grass is doing good so all right folks thanks for watching all this empty space right here all the empty space I'm gonna stick peppers in all of them okay so thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one